this week we're in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That's how you say it, Louisiana. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah. <laughs> you try to get it as fast as you can in as, in as few syllables as possible. Yeah. Louisiana. <laughs> We're still in downtown Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and uh, walking around, we passed this uh, science center. Art and science. Art and science center. I don't know if you can see through there or not. Pretty, pretty bad glare off of Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Uranus. <laughs> it's better. No, Uranus is up there. Uranus has rings. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Not the big one. <laughs> the little one is Uranus. Ah, no! <laughs> this is not can you see it? I don't know if they can see it. Oh. I'll a, zoom in on Uranus no, no, so you can see it better. <laughs> no zooming. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. <laughs> the horrible glare on Uranus. Today we're at the old state capitol in Baton Rouge. This place is so cool. It's so cool on the inside. We just went up this great spiral staircase. And so now we're gonna walk around the inside and we'll take you with us. Well, this is so cool. Yeah, who'd have thought? When we were in Huntsville, which was the first stop ever yeah. on our full-time RV yeah. life, um, we went to a museum there, mm -hmm. and they had one of these box cars, and it was a very small museum. Yeah. They didn't have very much stuff. Uh, they didn't have the, ver the first Jeep. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. they had this box car, and the guy, we, we didn't even ask about it, but the guy told us about it, and mm -hmm. he said, after um, World War II was over, the French gave 50 boxcars to all the states, states of the United States, one for each state, and uh, as a gift, mm -hmm. as a token of gratitude for helping them out in the war. We saw the one that was gifted right. to Alabama, uh -huh. and um, so we were walking around the old state capital in Louisiana today and saw theirs. Their it's so crazy. Thing. It's a great, <laughs> yes, their boxcar. So it's really cool. Um, we'll put a link somewhere up here uh, to the video from the one in Huntsville that we talked about. Um, and man, I never thought we'd see a second one, so now I'm kind of thinking like, well, maybe we'll see some more yeah, in other yeah. states sometime. I have to like Google like where all the box trains are at. Like a box train <laughs> scavenger hunt. <laughs> yeah, but it is pretty cool to see. We weren't expecting that when we yeah. come around the corner, but it's, it's cool to see. Yeah, it is. It's a cool piece of history. Um, the old state capitol was really cool. Beautiful. Just a beautiful place. Yeah, not just that, That's, the history. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Um, it's it's not as big on the inside as what 
it looks on the outside. Right. Yeah. I mean, it is tall on the inside, but as far as like housing the house and the Senate the nowadays, it would not. It wouldn't fit. Not even feasible. That's yeah. one of the reasons that they renovated it just to be a museum and move to the new capital because the size of the house and Senate was just too big. Yeah. Um, the other cool part in there was the history of, uh, of the governor. The governor. Hello, governor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if let's see if Lawrence and Natalie think your accent is better than mine because they <laughs> I, they were not impressed by my mine at the in Houston. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, Huey Long was the governor that was assassinated. Well, we don't really know. There's a bunch There's of theories. Theories that. Yeah. Uh, but Dr. Weiss that was the one who allegedly killed him. There's a bunch of history about that in there. They have the the gun yeah. that he allegedly did it with. Some of the bullets, some bullets. that hit over there. So. Um, yeah, if you got some time, look that up. It's a pretty cool very story. Interesting. Uh, very interesting stuff. We'll only take you a few. Uh, blah. We'll only take you through for a few minutes or some B-roll. But if you get time to look at it and read it, it's pretty interesting. Or if you're in Baton Rouge, stop in. Um, it's free. Yeah. Free museum. Uh, and We've been it, to quite a few state capitals. Yeah. Now, this rotunda by far is the most beautiful it is with that spiral the staircase stained glass and going stained glass, all the yeah. way to the ceiling and Gorgeous. just the uh, uh the molding the, the woodworking the on the inside it was just yeah it's, it's very just a beautiful but building. i mean that's french yeah i mean the french do it up they're elaborate and, yeah. and, and do it well you can you can just see the french influence as soon as you walk in yeah. or around i mean it's just very apparent yeah. but beautiful place and cool and free which is our favorite price yeah <laughs> Today we are at the state capital of Louisiana. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Which is the tallest state capital yes. in the United States. And it's mocked up after the Empire State Building. Yeah. The one we went to in Texas was mocked up after the national capital, yeah. nation capital. This is mocked up, as you can see up here, as the uh, Empire State Building. Yes. And it, it looks like it. it I mean, does. I've never it seen really... it in person, but yeah. I saw it a long time on ago. On TV, I've seen it. It yeah. looks like it. Uh, it's not as tall as the Empire State Building, but it, it's got the same uh, features. Yeah, same. Was a little bit uh, architecture. Yeah, same architecture. Um, so we're gonna go in there. I think this is free too. Yes. This is the first time I've been on the channel without a hat on because they won't let you wear a hat <laughs> up here in the observation deck. Yeah. We're gonna go see what's going on <laughs> in the house. <laughs> and we're up on the 27th floor of the state capitol. Yeah. As far up as they'll let you go. There's an observation deck up here, which is pretty cool because you can see all of Baton Rouge. Yeah. It's in every direction. Something. Actually, the background on the other side was better, but the wind was blowing from that way. Is, so there was no way we could have. wind up here. We could have never <laughs> talked on that side of the building, but you got yeah. the Mississippi River in the background. Every direction is, is, is great. You can see LSU yeah. uh, from up here, uh, the stadium. You can see everything down the Mississippi, the barges. The yeah, battleship, the, the steamboat. all the cool, it's really just it's really cool. You can see the whole city from yeah, up here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well, this is where Huey Long is buried, right out in front of the Capitol here, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. We talked about him a little earlier when we went to the old state Capitol. Mm -hmm. He was the one who was assassinated and really not sure allegedly how it all went down, <laughs> but uh, he was he was killed. Yeah. Anyway, he had this uh, state Capitol built in 1932 because 
he uh, didn't like the old Capitol because they tried to impeach him there. <laughs> so bad memories. Had this one built and uh, got assassinated. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think he was gonna have good luck no matter where yeah, he was I don't at. Think but so. <laughs> um, so this one's a little different than the Texas State Capitol. That's really all we have to compare it to. Yeah. Because uh, I went to the Missouri State Capitol when I was little. So I really don't know. But the Texas State Capitol, like they had tours. They were free. It kind of take you yeah. around a lot of the places. This one, I mean, you get to see the house and the Senate, and it was cool because the house was in, in session. session. So that yeah. was pretty cool to see. Didn't think they were going to let us go in there, but we kind of walked up like, hey, can we go in? And they were recessing. Yeah, they were on a break till two. So, so. they kind of let us go in and just take a few view pictures from and view from the gallery. Yeah. Um, but no tour. I mean, it was really just the house and the Senate and a couple of little hallways that you can go down and then the Seems observation like most deck. everything else is, is offices so there's yeah. nothing really to, Not really to, much to see. like you can in, yeah. in the texas one but it's still cool to see in person and yeah. the camera doesn't do this thing justice it's huge and it's awesome a lot so. of marble they use a lot of marble yeah, yeah again you can see the french yeah, influence the, yeah in the, in the architecture yeah. um, but if you're in baton rouge it's worth coming to see it's totally free mm -hmm. so come and see the state capitol today we're at the national hansen's disease museum this uh, disease museum is on a Louisiana National Guard installation, mm -hmm. so you'll need some ID to get on if you want to come see it. Yeah. But it's completely free once you get on, mm -hmm. and um, at least for now, it's open, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, we have military ID, so we got on. Yeah. Uh, we really don't know how it works if you don't have a military ID, mm -hmm. especially with this coronavirus deal going on. They might not let you on, but um, if not, we'll show you as much as we can possibly yes. show you. This was like, uh, this was on your list. Yeah. I didn't come up with this one. <laughs> Leslie was like, I want to go see the disease museum. I'm like, yeah. why? Well, it focuses on, on leprosy. <laughs> that's, in, that's an interesting topic for you? <laughs> yeah. I don't know much about leprosy. <laughs> and the history of it and the... Yeah, the only thing, of it. The only thing I really know is like what I read about like in the Bible. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm not well educated, honestly. I know it probably wasn't fun. Oh, well, no. Yeah. Well, the first part was pretty cool. Yeah. The actual museum part, and that used to be the quarantine hospital, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, what do you think was the most interesting thing you've seen in the museum? Oh, it was all interesting. Very interesting. I had no idea that if you had leprosy, stuff didn't fall off. Yeah. That's just the That's stigma. How, yeah. And they talk about stigma in there. Yeah, the do stuff don't fall off. No. It's absorbed. Your body absorbs it. Into the body. So, like, the fingers would, like, just slowly get shorter and absorb yeah. in. Yeah. And it would back just into the skin. be, like, mostly fingers and toes. So, people who do, who are not educated about it yeah. just assume that their parts fell off. And then the rashes and the boiling of the, the face faces. It was pretty extreme looking. Yeah. Uh, but you can see all the, the tools that they used because they had to like specially make like silverware. Yeah, that they could hold. bend them certain ways because uh, of the deformation was, of the hand. You got to see the, the x-rays. Yeah. Um, and the patients that were here were like, they were here. Yeah. So they lived here. They didn't go anywhere. So they yeah. had to They like had a, a general community. store for them. They created their own money, currency. Yeah, they had their own little community here. here. So it was like their own them. society. Yeah. Yeah. They had... Um, a baseball team they played golf mm -hmm. they went fishing um it was a little it was a little community here and actually the last patient um he chose to not leave 
Yeah. And he when stayed he there. Was, yeah. You know, he did was, all his treatment. He was here from 1951 until 2014 14 when he passed away. Yeah. He's buried out in the, the cemetery here mm -hmm. where they have all the patients who, who passed They're away best, here. Yeah. That's part of the driving tour. So yeah. we did the museum tour. Now we're getting ready to go on the driving tour. I mean, they even had their own Mardi Gras. Yeah. Like here. Floats and stuff. Did it, their own thing. Yeah. So They made them feel as normal as they could, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah. And so they, they, they had uh, like a very uh, close-knit community. They had a game room where they did bingo and <clears throat> dominoes and all sorts. Yeah, so it was like a retirement facility. It was, like a retirement home. <laughs> for leprosy for, people. Yeah, for leprosy. They have the so, day in, day out stuff. Um, very interesting to see what we're, what we're going to see here see, on the yeah. driving tour. So um, we'll take you along. Let's go. Um, on the driving tour, you can't take pictures because you're on a military installation. They yeah. only take pictures throughout the place. The only place you can take pictures is when you get to the cemetery. So we'll show you around here. This is where all the patients who, who were quarantined and who lived here were buried. these folks didn't use their real name yeah to when hide they, their identity when they first got here one of the first questions that they were asked were, what do you want your new name, new to, name be? to be yeah what do you want to be called because they didn't want their name associated with their disease. disease and with their family because back then the stigma was that you could catch this disease yeah and you could pass it along to other people people that even brought goods to the, the place here would wash their money like physically wash their money uh, when yeah. they got home and got paid yeah, because they thought they could catch, catch it that leprosy way. that yeah. way. Today we're at the West Baton Rouge Museum yeah. in Louisiana, which used to be the third parish courthouse. I have no idea what we're going to see today. West Baton Rouge history, this big sugar plantation area. Yeah, they have old gears. I mean, even the base of the flagpole is a yeah. gear from the sugar mill, some other gears that were donated out here that we've already seen outside. We haven't been inside yet, but uh, we're gonna go in and check it out. See what the history of West Baton Rouge is all about. I know nothing about Louisiana. This is the first time uh, we've been in Louisiana. Yeah. Well, first time I've been in Louisiana. First time you've been well, in Louisiana? I've passed through it. I've never even driven through Louisiana. When I moved from Florida to Texas, I had to go through Louisiana. Never been here. Never stopped and did anything. Yeah, we're already seeing some unique landscape and housing designs and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll go and see what it's all about. All right. All right. Well, that was an interesting little museum. It was uh, cool. It's like four bucks to get in, two for us each yeah. for military. Um, it'd be really cool, I think, 
uh, to be here during like a festival type deal. Yes. Because they do a bunch of cool stuff. They actually demonstrations. Demonstrations. They shuck some of the sugar cane. This is like a, a large portion of the history of West Baton Rouge's sugar yes. production. Yes. And the plantations and the mm -hmm. slaves who worked the land and the mills and all that stuff is just super interesting stuff we didn't yeah, know. Yeah, we had no idea. Well, first of all, I had no idea that Louisiana was such a big sugar producer. Sugar. Yeah. Which I probably should have known. Mm -hmm. We probably did because we probably learned it at some point, but we just didn't retain it. Yeah. <laughs> the most interesting thing I thought was like back in the late 1700s. A tablespoon of sugar. Yeah. A tablespoon. Five dollars. Yeah, that's insane. For back then, that's crazy. That, it's about she said it's about two hundred dollars for, a, for cup. a cup of sugar. And it takes about a cup of sugar to make a, a cake. cake. So if somebody invites you over for cake, like you're big they, time. They really like you. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you, bud? Probably not the smartest thing to try to dive into water after no. a turtle in Louisiana. No. I could have pulled back some nubs. I don't know if there's gators in here or not. <laughs> a normal healthy turtle at some point would try to run away. So we're going to see if he's going to try to run away or not. He's still a little spooked, but normally after they get spooked, even after a little while, they'll relax a little bit and then they'll try to take off. So. Just gonna kind of leave him alone. See if he tries to take off. And see if we can pinpoint maybe which one of his limbs are not working properly. Because uh, every time I try to get in there to pull one of his legs out, he tenses everything up and just can't get it out. So uh, I didn't see any fishing wire or anything like that in there, which I initially I thought I was expecting when we pulled him out that we were gonna see some fishing line wrapped around something or a piece of string or plastic or something that was hindering him. Physically, but we just don't see that, so maybe he has some kind of other issues going on, but we'll give him some time and, and see if he's going to take off or not. Just spotted a snake, and I think he's eyeballing our turtle. See his head right there? He just put it back down. I gave him a worm, tried to give him a worm, and he, he bit it out of defense. And now it's still hanging out of his mouth. But at least he's walking. We can see all of his limbs are working properly. Yeah. Bye, buddy. You're welcome. <laughs> well, we, we went fishing a little bit today. We weren't planning on doing any videoing unless we just caught something crazy. Yeah. But ended up, we saw this turtle that was uh, floundering in the water. And uh, the only way to get it back over to the to the bank was to hook him and bring him back in. Even then, it was pretty easy to catch because he you could tell he was obviously in distress. Yeah. Uh, so we brought him off and and got him onto land. And I was worried about his limbs working, but they seem like they're working fine now. Yeah. Uh, off, and he started walking. He even walked away into the into the brush. We gave him a worm, mm -hmm. which yeah. I think he bit out of defense. <laughs> um, but he didn't let it go. Mm -hmm. So he's got a worm with him. So he has, <laughs> Traveling with a worm. He has dinner <laughs> and he, he walked himself into the wood line so we're comfortable with that. Yeah. Uh, we were reading up a little bit online and usually when they're swimming sideways that can sometimes mean like a respiratory infection. And the banks on the side of this pond are pretty steep. steep. I don't think he could pull out. Yeah and I, I'm not sure that he could get himself out of the yeah. water. So just by us getting him out of the water, Saves I mean uh, he was out here for maybe half hour and already walking on his own, all of his limbs yeah. working properly, and he walked away from the water yeah. toward the wood line. So I think he just needs to kind of rest, maybe just uh, uh, recuperate a little bit. Try out. Hopefully <laughs> the snakes won't get him because when we had him up here and he's walking that's around, the, that's the snake. There was a yeah, and he's right there. Yeah. There was a snake coming up and um, mm -hmm. kind of looking like uh, he keeps wanting to come out this way. Yeah. So hopefully he's not going to come and get our <sighs> turtle. Eats. He was a pretty big turtle, and that's not a very wide snake. So I don't know. Yeah, he's going off that way now. Let's see if I can get some footage of him. <sighs> he's just looking. Well, it looks like the snake is headed in the other direction. Maybe we scared it or whatever. But the snake is in the water, and I think it's good that the turtle's not in the water anymore. Yeah. 
because he was flailing and he couldn't really get his he was like going in circles because yeah. he could only use one side of his his limbs Body, yeah. and uh so that might have provoked that snake from trying to grab him in the yeah. water so at least we got him out of the water he's in the woodland now so he's at least got a fighting chance um and it's definitely a venomous snake because venomous snakes only swim on top of the water yeah. but i don't think he could even eat that turtle anyway mm. not unless he got a leg or his head yeah but either way at least uh at least the turtle's got a fighting chance yeah. now we'll come back out tomorrow yeah see if he's still see if he's still over hanging here hanging out in the bush yeah. <laughs> um well that's that's really it from from baton rouge we're wrapping everything up we're not really doing anything today other than fishing a little bit we got skunked fishing but at least we got yeah. to help the turtle yeah and there was <laughs> purpose for being out here today <laughs> and it's just nice being out and relaxing yeah. next to the water even if there is snakes and potentially gators and um like i said earlier it probably wasn't the brightest idea for me to reach no, into no, the water no, after the turtle <laughs> <laughs> but we just have a soft spot for wildlife yeah. and we want to help where we can so hopefully little dude will be okay yeah, save the reptiles <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're team reptile <laughs> but we're wrapping it up from baton rouge we had a great time here in baton rouge and we're off to new orleans Oh. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.